Bonjour, bonsoir, dear friends. This is JCB Live, and we're going to have a new live wine style today. This is going to be so excited because the beautiful Cara Chamberlain is with me to assist me on the wine and food description. But we have two incredible guests today, and we decided to drive up north from the Raymond Kitchen, north of Santa Helena, to the famous Brasswood one of the most amazing destination ever in the heart of wine country. We are with Marcus Marquez, the general manager of Brasswood. The very talented man as well who wrote a hundred things not to forget to do in the heart of Napa. <laughs> yes. You see, it's a new title, something everyone has to do and see and experience. And we are as well with the charming and eloquent David who's been the chef at L'Etoile, Chandot, and of course, Previgna. So today we'll be doing something so unique because we'll be doing pizza. Of course, yes, uh, big pizza. And something else as well that is great to take out. We're going to do the uh, unbelievable uh, risotto, three cheese risotto with a, a dark confit and uh, some aged balsamic. Unbelievable. This is a dream. So we have Brasswood. You're going to discover exactly what you could do in the wine country and really take out with you. But without further ado, what is this? Yeah, we want to place? start with a toast of. Oh. We also do spirits here, so this Thank is you. our caliente. Yes. Definitely get on board with this. Oh my God, no, I, I don't drink, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll drink yours. We'll drink it for you. <laughs> and uh, this is just something we do in the bar and kitchen and our bakery. Cheers. 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 So Thank tell you. us, uh, what's the cocktail? Cheers. The cocktail Cheers. is a special cocktail that our restaurant general manager, Jen mm. Bohr, created. And it's Gosh, called the good. Hot Caliente. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice. This is hot. Mm. And como decimos en español, caliente. caliente. Woo! Oh my God, Whoa. that gets you going. That is, you know, we're gonna move into Bouchard in a little while because I think after this, we need to rest our palate. <laughs> <laughs> but this is amazing. So before we start cooking, Marcus, yes. you run the show here. Yes. In this amazing destination in the heart of Napa. Tell us what we could do during this, this uh, pandemic and, and all of this time. Can enjoy. So we're very, uh, Isolate out here on our property. I always say we're in our own little village. We're 57 acres with a winery and 17,000 square foot of caves where we produce our wine. But we have this little food and wine village where we have a restaurant, bakery, we have a mercantile and tasting room. So you can play and do whatever your mind can create here. We have spirits, we have a boozy bakery where you can have martinis and croissants, or you can have a full on elegant premium wine tasting. So, from wine, food, prepared by Chef David, and everything else, and you can do anything you want. So this is very exciting. Besides going to Raymond, you're gonna to come to Brasswood. And you can see today, we're gonna obviously pair great cocktails with great food. So we're gonna let, of course, Cara tell us, what would you pair this amazing cocktail with? Ooh, gosh, with any kind of spicy food. And so usually like spicy and sweetness tend to go a little bit more together. And I know today we're actually having a fig pizza. And so fig can be such a diverse fruit. You're able to put it on an assortment of different dishes. And I know Chef David, he actually decided to put it onto our pizza today. So it is a nice combination of flavors with just that zest of spice to elevate the flavor profile. So that's why we also wanted to pair, in addition to that, our wine, which is the Bouchard. So the Bouchard, which is going to be our Chardonnay here, we're just talking about a very classic style, clean, refreshing, great for outdoor patio area. You don't want to use your core school in this one? Not this time. Oh man, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we made it so easily accessible for you. You don't even have to worry about a corkscrew. It's very COVID perfect. Really COVID. Great the perfect. oldest winery in Burgundy, founded in 1750, innovating of course, with screw cap. Isn't it fun? Super fun. And so these have become very popular for any kind of to-go items. You can take it on a picnic if you choose, or something to just enjoy on a bit of an outdoor dining area if you'd like, or even just at home when you can relax on your own patio. We have your food and wine that's exceptional to go. And I know Chef David is actually gonna cook a live fire pizza here for us. And so we just along wanted with to- Along with John Charles. As, along with John Charles. We're gonna cheers Absolutely. here. Cheers. Salute. Salute. So, Chef, tell us about your dough and 
how you prepare it and maybe all the details and ingredients because we have the chef who was at the origin of Cavinia, which is one of the best destinations in the heart of San Elena, where some of the best pizza were ever created in Northern America. So you're the maestro, you are the chef. Well, right here I create my own uh, pizza recipe, which is a, a great combination with a lot of places that I've been working, that I've been working on. Uh, this one uh, is, it's a little different than the other ones, which is uh, it's, it's good, it's great. Uh, so what flour do you have in there? Usually, it's very simple thing. It's only AB flour. Okay. That cannot be... All purpose. All, all purpose flour. Organic that, as well, organic, I'm sure. Of course. Excellent. Nothing can go wrong with this. It smells very good. So you have to get him one to try to do it at the same time. Oh, yes, yeah. all right. Of course. Okay. Of course, I'm going to do one at the same time, chef. It's got to be the competition between the, competition. the expert and the novice. Unbelievable. There we go. <laughs> Just grab a... I love the touch of the dough, <laughs> chef. It's like giving a massage to someone. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make mine in the shape of a heart? Uh, as you prefer, sir. You know, I think the heart is the symbol of love and passion. So we got to create it in a sense that it has curves, you know. Mm. Nothing better than a pizza mm. with curves. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Ready? Let's get it. <laughs> Here we are. I have mine with a hole so I could put my eye through it. <laughs> it's your clear palette. Excellent. This is for the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> So, Cara, let's um, tell us a little bit about the Chardonnay because Absolutely. this is something very exciting as we cook, we drink. Oh, obviously. And as we obviously. drink, we cook. It's the perfect life. So, how we make this style Chardonnay, we really want to go with a very uh, all stainless steel fermentation, which means that we're just going to get that heightened minerality, that Thank great you, acidity, yes. that brightness in fruit without any influence of oak. So, that makes it a really so versatile so pairing. Around. So when you're able to do that, you can have multiple different items that you can really, uh, really work with on this particular one, which is why I love it. And so I love something that has that great brightness, something that I can just sip on that just makes you just uh, salivate and able to eat and drink as much as possible. I don't know if you feel the same way, but the higher the acid, the better it will pair with an assortment of different kind of dishes, whether it is your own style of pizza, or whether it's popcorn, or whether it's even chicken wings. This style of wine is so versatile, and so we really enjoy having this style. You can have multiple different types of Burgundian style wines, but when you see that it is in this particular classification, you're going to make sure it's going to have that nice, that nice clean feel to the palate which is what makes it really great. You can find this in assortment different locations, so just check with your local stores, make sure that you ask for this one or your Two restaurants, because yeah. the reason why okay. a lot of uh, chefs enjoy using it is for its diversity. Do you have a few tomatoes over there? This is uh, delicious. Maybe? So nice, isn't it? Ooh. It is so nice. All from Burgundy, France, just like Jean-Charles. And here we go. Refreshing. Hey, chef, are you catching? <laughs> Look at sweat's oh, coming. Oh, unbelievable. Perfect, you got those beautiful tomatoes. <laughs> Watching the hey, la margarita. <laughs> That's pretty great. So, Chef, there what's everything that you're putting on your pizza? So, um, I'm going with a classic style, just uh, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some uh, mozzarella, low moist mozzarella, and uh, some uh, gorgonzola crumble. Your Excellent. fresh uh, figs. He's doing a special thing. So. <laughs> That's yeah, bad. I'm going with a lot of cheese <laughs> and own, tomatoes. He has it all mine, so... Yes, he a little eat. salt here. He and maybe I'm going to go with more cheese because we have a peanut layer. And oh, yes. cheese. Oh, very nice. You know, look at that. Chef guided me, of course, and he oh, corrected man. my little hole. Look at this beautiful <laughs> thing. So, Chef, do I go in? Just go in. Just right there. I'm going in! <laughs> Half of the pizza went in first. <laughs> so all the toppings, so it's gonna to be quite creative. It is, it's gonna be quite creative. It's gonna have that nice charcoal -y mm. flavor profile too. It's smoky, if you will. <laughs> so Marcus, tell us, than it looks. you know, during the time you guys have obviously yes. remained open, which is a very big deal. And so you do a lot of takeout. Huh? We do an incredible amount of takeout. We are very blessed to have a bakery and a restaurant that For has sure. been doing the to-go. And a lot of the families and people that live up Valley, we were their home base for a long time. So for sure. 
Dylan. I know Dylan, who runs all our digital media, who is kind of our guru, is uh, spending a lot of time here as well. Yes, <laughs> and thank you. You have to check him out at night. You. We talk business every once in a while, so it comes on the... <laughs> uh, but yes, we yeah. do. We do a lot of the takeout. We have such Melissa Lynch comes a lot Melissa as well. Lynch and a lot of our in the friends. morning with her little puppy. Uh, we do um, our food travels really well, which is very important when you take up food home from the restaurants. And so with the pizza, of course, but the duck confit with the risotto, mm. uh, our proper deli. So you do very involved things, as if you were open as a restaurant, but you can take it home. You can take it home. And uh, we give uh, heating instructions, and we will always uh, make sure that you have the right tools to make sure you can do yeah. it at home. But that's great because, you know, everybody loves to have the professional chef give advice and direction. You take cocktails. And just to have to too. reheat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how does that important. work? You, you get it in a plastic <laughs> cup or? In this in a beautiful plastic glass. cup. Because um, I love that glass. You know? Yes. I was thinking Let's I was going to gonna leave with it. <laughs> we were finding that people were ordering their to goes and putting them in the freezer because nice. they were yeah. just wanting, they just love the fact that they can get to go cocktails. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we wrap them up, we put them in, and then. I can take see them your pizza is uh, looking unbelievable. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Did you see he swapped his with mine? So he's going to make me think <laughs> that mine looks better. You should have tell. You should have tell. You know, when you. Italiano, Francese, and Mexican at the same time. He combines the three skills. <laughs> you know, the romance of an Italian, the, the beautiful charm of a Mexican, and of course, the suaveness of a Frenchman. So he's dangerous. <laughs> Very <laughs> true. You know, he's, he's a trifecta. Yeah, so you have this oven always on every day? Yeah, every day, seven That's days great. a week. Um, lunch and dinner. Oh, yeah. And, this is looking uh, really good. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure very good, but we'll taste. Look at that crust. Look at that. And all of our uh, produce comes from our gardens. We have six gardens in the valley that we manage and own. And we have a pop-up farmer's market that we do on Saturday. Mm -hmm. That's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So in the bakery, we will have the olive oil that Gorgeous. David uses, our produce. That looks amazing. That this looks is Chef David. Oh, I thought that was yours. You see, this is perfection. Oh, this is yours. beauty. <laughs> that is yours. <laughs> no, no, this is his. Mine is a catastrophe. It's a volcano. That is very I, nice. I'm like, I, so, have, that I wanted to try to recreate the, the Vesuvo in Sicily, you know, so mine has a big hole and he's gushing the excitement of the tomatoes. He won't even show it? yours. <laughs> Bring it out here. <laughs> yes. Let me, we, oh, it's not that bad. It's not, it's not bad. Oh, no, it's beautiful. I'm very it's not bad. It's actually. Lost a tomato, but it looks good. You see, I. Two tomatoes ended, so this is the eyes, this is the nose, and this is the mouth open. <laughs> so you it. see, you, you're always thinking about all the senses. This is the key. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, so, Chef, do I go this way? Yes. Here we go. Oh, you're doing, you're doing unbelievable. Oh, it's insane. Like, if you're looking for a it's sous almost chef, like a calzone. Absolutely. If you fold it in half, it would be a calzone. Oh, exactly. Which I do love that too. So, that. so this is a. Uh, this is you pressure uh, arugula yep. and some uh, aged balsamic. Oh, you put some balsamic as well. Balsamic. Marvelous. And uh, like they say, manja, manja. Manja, manja. So we got to try. We, we got to all compare and then. Uh, then vote on the best? Ba maybe, uh, <laughs> well, not vote on the best because chef is always winning. You know, yeah. never. No, no, but it's so. You might have to cut that smaller pieces. So you do, you do pizza to go as well, We do of course. pizza to go. Yeah. We actually do a pre-pizza kit so you can actually bake at exactly, home. Exactly, yeah. So really? you don't have to, we don't have to bake it here. You can take it and Very cool. bake it later at the house. And I think nice. let's try as well, maybe the Pinot Noir okay. with it. Of course. Because I think the whole point of people always think, oh, Burgundy, it's intimidating. I should only have it with beef bourguignon or rabbit or pheasants or something very involved. And I think as simple as this, you could have it with pizza. A hundred percent. I think fine That's ones with here. pizza is so cool because the ingredients are fresh, the flavors are wonderful and all in together. Chef, do you want to give it a try? Or? Of course, yeah. Here Excellent. we go. This, uh, I'm not going to say no to this one, okay? No, definitely not. Spirits, spirit you say no to, but wine, yes. Uh, good wine. to know. Salud. Well, Salud. he's Cheers. the Francese Italiano, you know. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Bright red fruit, nice kind of cranberry. 
Mm, really great more citrus and raspberry, which is amazing with what we're trying to work with comparison with the fig as well. So there are no rules necessarily to food and wine pairing. A lot of it is just what is acclimated to your palate and what you prefer. Typically, you always want like styles to go with like dishes. Yes, let's so if go. you have a lighter style dish, you should have a lighter style wine. But if you have a high acid dish, you'll actually cut through a lot of the richness in a lot of dishes. So it is really versatile. The best advice we can give you when it comes to food and wine pairings is to just eat and drink as much as possible and find what works best for you. I agree. That's I love that. Idea. Eat and drink as much as possible. So dear friends, I'm going to give you, we're going to give you our feedback. So okay. I think Marcus, you need oh to be God. the judge of the food and wine pairing. I'll do it blindly. Oh, here's it. Absolutely. If you'd like to try it. No. Oh, I'll, oh, I'll try it. I'll you try, try it. You try it. Yeah. Oh, okay. mm. These wines are delicious. Aren't they fantastic? Chef's right. pizza is fabulous. Beautiful crust, mm. thin, oh my goodness. crusty, and obviously the arugula. Ooh, so uh, yeah, and the balsamic vinegar. Oh, it's just a nice balance of flavor. So oh even if you have like the cheese that is that's more of a rich style cheese, but with the balsamic, it's able to add that nice acidity to it. Then you have the balance of something that is a little bit more herbaceous with the arugula that's on top, which adds that little bit of bitterness. So all of the combination of flavors are just perfectly balanced. Thank you. Uh, chef, explain us to all our friends. You don't need a pizza oven to make pizza at home. The oven is enough, right? It's enough. If you have it uh, all blasted all the way up, you know, 400, 450, what it goes. Okay. That's all what you gotta do. Excellent. No need. So 450 for how long typically? Usually, ten minutes, uh, t about, about 10 minutes in a, right here, we got it like 700 degrees, so it only takes like a two and a half, three minutes the most. Yes. Home, it's a little, it's another story, a little longer. But this course. is great, so everybody should make pizza at home. And as you say, you give all the components and you just have to warm it up, so. It's amazing that you two have the same ingredients and how different the pizzas are. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's how the best part, you can mix and match all your I think we'll forget to talk about mine. <laughs> no. It's really nice. It is, it's no, delicious. it's, it's amazing because that you, I got the tomatoes on yours with the mm -hmm. acid and it was just, it was so rich that. Maybe it's, a, it's, really a, nicely. it's a great idea. Maybe I put it on the menu. <laughs> I love you that. that. That's, that's right. right. Name it after him. <laughs> to, to scare people away, that's going to be the best way. Well, the one underliner. Know? Put your name on the name. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So now we're going to do something very cool. The chef is going to go quickly in the kitchen to show us something that he was doing that you can order at Grasswood, of course, and you can make at home in a very easy way. So what's the next dish? The next dish will be a, a duck and feed risotto mm -hmm. with a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar and uh, three cheese, three different kinds of cheese. Excellent. We're excited so to see that. We are indeed. Well, uh, I'll be right back. And then I want to introduce, this is the general manager Hello, of the restaurant. Oh, bonjour. 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 Comment ça va? Muy bien. <laughs> I know Spanish, not French. Well, Espanol es bueno también. Oh, hablas Espanol. Muy bien. Well, it's a pleasure. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you. So, Thank so you tell us that. what are the, the key things that you're really promoting during the time we live in and that people love to take out from the restaurant? You know, really what we're trying to do is make it easy to prepare at home. You look so beautiful oh. and charming. Well, thank you. Something needs to be in your hand. Well, <laughs> other than, than what I have, nice. of course. Thank you so much. A little Pinot Noir. Yeah, Pinot oh, Noir. Beautiful, cheers. Oh, <laughs> That's thank right. You. Cheers. So our takeout program is mainly focused on easy to prepare at home, easy to reheat at home, uh, and really fun for families to share. Because we have so many families in St. Helena that yeah. you know, you're trying to make kids happy, you're trying to make the grandparents happy, you're trying to make parents yeah, happy. Yeah, very true. And so uh, we focus on dinners packages that they can take home and kind of make a family style dinner at home like a pizza dinner with salad yes. or a pasta dinner with salad and then of course we just want to be able to feature all of our biggest hits on the regular menu for those who don't feel quite comfortable so what are the big out. hits mozzarella yes. for sure uh, you definitely have to have the peach and burrata. It's only in season for like Ooh. two months and it's like fresh burrata from Napa. All of these local peaches, beautiful vegetables on top and a little house chutney. It's so delicious. And then of course, fig pizza, yeah, which you've course. already tried. It hits like all Amazing. the marks. Sweet, sour, bitter, it has everything that you want. 
So we really just want to make it easy for, for whether you're a visitor or you're a local and you're looking for something to eat. So Very exciting and let's yeah. not forget wine. Too. And wine. People can order wine and take it with them They too. can do growlers of wine, uh, which we do. Mm. Any of our top brass, which is like our second label here at Brasswood. And then we also do cocktails to go. So the sweet and caliente you were drinking. Yes, can you tell us about that? So, well, Marcus started very well and then <laughs> we, I interrupted him to talk about <laughs> His beautiful he new knew. book, new cover, <laughs> I was like, I'm taking a sip. The, te <laughs> the tequila kicked in right in time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so we have a, a really, really fun cocktail program that we're really proud uh, to have. But a lot of people during shelter in place didn't get to enjoy them. So we took the cocktails to go so people could enjoy them at home. So the sweet and caliente is jalapeno, cilantro, creme de cassis from Giffard, and uh, our favorite spirit, tequila. Yeah. And you just muddle you gotta be so excited. together. Yes, exactly. So we want to be able to have a restaurant experience at home from the wine to the cocktails yes. to the food, everything that you could possibly And want. these edible flowers are from the garden right behind this building. So yeah, we so grow we, our own. We do the, the flower program for all of our cocktails as well, as well as a lot of the herbs that we use in our cocktails for muddling um, in any of our spirits. We walk back up there and we pick all of the flowers and all of the herbs every morning. So Very cool. That's the, great. As farm mm -hmm. to table as possible. Right? <laughs> well, it's beautiful and the cocktail is delicious. It's absolutely Thank gorgeous. You. I love the flavor components in it, so really need to come and try the cocktail. In addition to the wine and the food, but every meal needs to start with a cocktail. And exactly. the beauty is the JCB <laughs> spirits are at the bar as well. So the new gin and everything else, including hopefully the cognac, which we need to talk about. Oh, we do. So that's how yes. we're going to make a new product placement. You see, well, everything is possible at all times. We're going to have to do a JCB uh, <laughs> uh, sidecar using the cognac. We are ready. There we go. And I know Mr. Egan has the beautiful carts as well to give you. So yes. we have the JCB cart. <laughs> we got a cocktail cart for you, don't worry. So oh, Chef yeah. is back. Good news. Look at him. Oh, man. Well, well show us, this is gorgeous. Sweat and walking all the way there is, uh, I don't need to exercise anymore. <laughs> I just steps in. <laughs> well, well, right here, uh, Jennifer can uh, give me a hand because we've, we've been together for uh, many years. Uh, right here we got the- uh, You're a lucky man, I was just <laughs> uh, Not so lucky. I just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, she's gonna give you a little explanation better than me. So uh, this is one of our classic dishes that we offer year round. Sometimes we change the set, but during the summertime, this is just the perfect dish to have, whether you're enjoying it at home or here. You have a three cheese risotto, which they just add some fresh apple to, to just give it oh. a little bit of texture, a little bit of crunch and acidity to the creaminess of the risotto. And then of course we get local duck, and we confit those duck legs for three days Ooh. in their own fat until it's complete. Can I give you my legs for a little while? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they require They're some the coffee in this confinement. Uh, like I need the massage. <laughs> well, I, I would rely on you for the I, massage. I would love so to be fair. able to get massage now too. <laughs> let, let me, <laughs> well, we, you know, I massage your right leg and you massage my left. Let, right, me, let me be honest. We'll we have swap to, brains. We'll have to make a reservation for that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I got a day. <laughs> Actually, um, your legs would, take, legs would take a little longer than four hours, okay? Yes. Well, I'm ready for more. <laughs> <laughs> what so, we do here is just, we just grab a, a little bit just of the uh, same uh, balsamic reduction in a, a finished stage. Beautiful. And oh, the gorgeous. Pinot Noir, so, Chardonnay. Are you, try are you sure we should? Well, are yes. we, can we all try together? Oh, because that would be the perfect moment to make everybody jealous, oh, everybody right. watching. So, dear friends, we had an amazing time. Mm. 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 That's really tasty. Oh, Shara, you got to be the one describing it. I love the apple cider in it. The apples really lighten the dish, so I can see why you can make it so versatile throughout the season. There's traditionally risotto can sometimes have a bit more it's that warm comfort food kind of feel that you want by a fire, but with the apples, it really livens it up and you can really enjoy it on a warm yeah. day. And so it can pair with something just as beautiful as this and with a sort of other Would you buy it for me? I, I do not eat duck. <laughs> oh, Marcus. No, maybe, no. maybe Kara is the one who's going to divide it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to let you this, hold it. You have to get oh. the crispy bit right here. Because we've got to get a description right. of the duck. Let's and see, no. 
Yes. Oh, yeah, I can Ooh, hear the crispiness. Look at this. Beautiful piece. Oh, man, it just falls right out of the bone. It's perfectly cooked. It's absolutely gorgeous. The flavor components in it, the richness, but at the same time, because it is still like that light style piece of meat, it was like it's able to just balance out with the dish entirely. It's not overly done. It's something that can be really versatile. And so I, I can understand why you decided to go with the duck that's with this particular dish. And I definitely agree with the wine pairing. I think it's something that's very classic in style, yeah. but something that is versatile throughout all the seasons, which makes it really great. So it is pretty brilliant, all the components that you put together on the dish. Amazing. The three cheese, the, three the cheese duck, which is obviously for the French. Mm -hmm. You go to our heart because this yeah. is obviously always on the menu. Yes. So dear friends, we want to thank you immensely for being on JCB. No, thank you. Wine thank styles. You. Thank you for This is the us. first time we have a guest and we honored everyone. When you come to Napa, north of San Elena, you'll find this beautiful village, the Villaggio on the left side. And you'll see gardens, you'll see mercantile, restaurant, bars, the boulangerie, the bakery. You'll meet mm. charming chef David and obviously our general manager and the big cheese yes yes. And yes if you want to do more things Check remember he has his book yes absolutely the book that's Which very is, and if you want a and personal guy it too yes it does absolutely page what 93 exactly is that right? i think he got like four pages because all the great <laughs> things he does in the valley I'm well sure. thank He's you 96 and, through 100. He's and if you want it. personal that's assistance yes. because we have a young graduate for the cia who is well knows everything about wine Cara there's Chamberlain there's will always be with something us. new to learn, that's for sure. <laughs> so but thank you for doing what you do for the community. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. amazing thank you. things. Yay. See you soon at Brasswood.